located in the heart of the country, in the region of Kodri, the old words of Moldova, the district of Hinchest is a true visiting card of the country. It is a realm with deep historical roots and generations of industrious and hospitable people. These are the first characteristic features of this territory. Having a particular advantageous geographical position with an enviable natural setting, it has a potential of prospective economics development. The district of Hinchest is at the border with the European Union and it is one of the most indicated regions for serious long-term investment. The district of Hinchest has a surface of over 1,480 square kilometers with 63 settlements of about 120,000 inhabitants. It is ranked among the top three largest districts in the country. Its territory is crossed by the Balkan International Motorway, where considerable goods, passenger and tourist traffic is recorded to pass through the Leuchen International Customs that travel to and from the European Union. The administrative center of the district is the town of Hinchest. It has a population of about 18,000 citizens, which constantly grows. The majority of industrial units, economic, trade, banks, state and social cultural institutions are concentrated here. The district of Hinchest has a special historic importance. The archaeological excavations in the village of Stolnichen have discovered a Dacian fortress which dates back to the 4th, 3 centuries before Christ as well as the remains of an ancient civilization. The famous Silk Road passed on the territory of the district in the Middle Ages. It provided a link between the East and the West. Every community of the district can be proud with its medieval settlement and rich relics as an orthodox church or a monument. Some of them have a unique value, such as the ruins of the royal court in Lepushna, the wooden church from the village of Kotomori, the Hinko monastery, the Menuk Bay court from the town of Hinchest, etc. Large rural settlements such as Kerpinien, Lepushna, Sarata Galvene are famous by keeping old traditions until now. This work is done by skilled craftsmen whose fame expanded far away and these places can become real centers of the district's development. Some time ago, the district of Hinchesh was considered a leader in agricultural and industrial development. But the disappearance of the old economic system has brought serious economic consequences to the region. However, active efforts are taken to improve the situation. The investments in infrastructure, social sector and business area are growing continuously. The district has a clear vision of its priorities that are set up by the socio-economic development strategy for the years between 2013 and 2020. It was prepared jointly with the Academy of Sciences. The main goal of this strategy is to provide sustainable development of the whole district. One of the most important tasks in the short and medium periods of time is to attract investment to boost the development of the district. The favorable natural conditions of the district mean a real strong point that was taken into consideration in identifying the key investment priorities. Such factors as the hilly surface, the soil composition, the large number of sunny days, the existence of vast grazing lands and large forests favors the cultivation of viticulture, horticulture, vegetable growing, livestock breeding and honey collection. In such a way, ecologically pure agricultural production, cultivation of cereals, sunflower and other crops can be obtained. These branches are a wonderful destination to place the investments.
Hentjesht is known far outside the country as an indispensable realm abound to viticulture and winemaking. This branch constitutes the visiting card of the district due to remarkable results of its wine growers and winemakers. The overall grape production exceeded 100,000 tons, about 18 wineries activated in the district. In Hentjesht, vineyards are the source of very tasty, delicate and good quality wines. The specialists consider them as being unique in the value and quality. A particular taste has the delicate, refreshing white wines such as Sauvignon, Blanc, Chardonnay and Oligotea. The red wines are produced from the types of grapes such as Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot and Pinot Noir for over a century. These wines were appreciated with the highest awards at various international wine exhibitions. At present, the district faces an acute need to re-establish more than six wineries with a processing capacity of about 40,000 tons of quality grapes that are currently transported for processing outside the borders of the district. Wineries are in search of investment in marketing activities, new technologies and strategies in the field, including the creation of new concepts of development. The Kintesh district has a very good natural conditions to grow apples, plums, cherries, walnuts, pears, peaches and almonds. The fruits grown in the district are of a high organoleptic quality. Their taste is generated by sugar and amino acids favored by sunny days. The overall production of fruits per hectare in the district has a potential of more than 100 tons. The industrialization of the fruits growth and harvesting is seen by the profile on top as the future of horticulture development. The investments for the post-harvesting process are particularly attractive. The creation of functional and viable storage terminals, the storage and packing of fruits would open great prospects for exporting fruits to foreign markets. At present, the industrial refrigerators placed in the district have the capacity of 10,000 tons, but many owners of these refrigerators are already planning a business development. They want a consistent investment in preserving and packing technology for their production to make it competitive as export goods. The plantation of nuts and almonds, which are particularly required in the local markets, are expanding every year. The district of Kinchest has a special vegetable production area. It is located in the Prut River floodplain and its adjacent areas. The experience for decades has shown that the vegetable growing could bring outstanding results. For example, at some time, the global vegetables production has reached 80,000 tons. Tomatoes, cucumbers, sweet peppers, onions and many other vegetables are a source of a high harvest, thus bringing impressive profits to the growers. At present, we work to restore the Prut River irrigational system. It extends over an area of 9,000 hectares in order to facilitate the vegetables production. The industry's potential lies in implementing advanced technologies and the vegetables production on protected land can generate significant profits. The market is huge, but the buyer is always looking for good quality and ecologically pure products such as those with Hintjesh brand. The medical and aromatic oil plants cultivation and oil production out of them is a relatively new brand for the district. They are lavender, sage, dill, etc. The territory where aromatic oil plants have been cultivated is about 1,500 hectares. At present, various actions have taken place in order to expand the cultivation area. These plants have a true industrial, commercial and exporting perspective. The experience of manager Vladimir Simashko shows that the people working in this sector, due to the climatic and soil qualities in the district, can expect reliable results. In order to achieve good results, we need investments. The investments will target the harvesting technology, oils production and packing of aromatic oil plants. These products meet all the requirements to be considered ecologically pure. 
the district of Kinchest belongs to the region where wheat, corn, sunflower and soya beans are successfully cultivated. This is because uh, they are cultures with a strong technological potential. The cultivation of these cultures is closely connected with the animal breeding such as cattle, pigs and poultry. The manager Petro Moraro is convinced that a proper output and quality of the production can be ensured only through a strict usage of advanced technologies. In this respect, he and other entrepreneurs from the branch hope to get the facilities for meat processing to obtain a high-quality final product. About 10,000 tons of meat are produced in the district every year. They are exported only with a primary processing technology and therefore a reduced income is obtained. Very special investment opportunities have to be implemented in the field of agricultural production processing. It can be done through the existing preserving facilities such as wineries, flour mills, oil mills and bakeries. But they don't satisfy the real needs of the branch. The agricultural potential of the district makes it possible the activity of high production units such as canneries, especially for children, deep freezing of fruits and vegetables factories, bread manufacturing oil making, tea making out of medical plants, meat and milk processing, honey packing, walnuts and almonds processing aggregate work. The mayors of rural settlements are interested to initiate innovational investment projects in economy. The investment can create possibilities to improve the people's living standard, to strengthen the local development potential and to ensure its continuation. The tourism, as well as uh, viticulture and winemaking, can become in short time a new visiting card of Hinchest. The significance of touristic and religious establishments on the district's territory, linked with the nation's fate in different historical periods, makes you associate them with border stones that are nicely and profoundly carved. The restoration of these establishments will make it possible to open a new touristic route in a short period of time. It will be the Hinch Monastery, the Chichulain Village Museum, the Stolnichen Jetodation Settlement, the Lepushna Royal Court, the Menuk Bay Historical and Architectural Complex from Kinchesh. The Menuk Bay Complex, where the restoration work is carried out actively, has the chance to become a touristic pearl of Moldova, as well as the Soroka Fortress and the Krikova Wine Cellars. The Menuk Bay Court is regarded not only as a valuable touristic attraction, but also as a multifunctional place where very official cultural, scientific and social events could be housed. The district of Hinchest has large alternative energy production resources such as biomass, photovoltaic and wind energy. The biomass volume produced in the district is estimated to over 50,000 tons. Now there are some pellet and biogas producing units. The truth is that their productivity doesn't reach even 1% of the available raw material. The needs of the budget institutions and of the district's inhabitants for biological fuel require millions of dollars investments. The district has real capacities to export large quantities of such fuel. According to specialist estimations, the district's relief and climate offer very good possibilities to produce energy plants. It is envisaged to become an important innovative branch of the local economy. Several enterprises with foreign capital already function in the district. One of them is uh, Malia Est, which produces knitwear goods mostly for export. The persistence of the management team has resulted in a few years the evolution of the economic entity. It developed from simple initial operations to an advanced technological level. There are also such enterprises in transport, winemaking and entertainment. This model of economic activity represents a bilateral advantageous option. It is especially convenient if we take into consideration that the local authorities look for friendly and comfortable climate to create attractive conditions for foreign investors.
Essential changes are taking place in the infrastructure and the social sector of the district. The Hinchesh District Hospital and the Karpinen Hospital are being transformed into modern medical establishments with the necessary equipment. Also, the family medical centers are developing, some new schools have been built and several highways have been capitally repaired. All these works have been done respecting the modern requirements and standards. They are the usage of advanced technologies, the safety of the local population, the efficient usage of uh, energy, and the environment protection. The Hinchesh District Council and the mayoralities from the district villages sustain through concrete actions the investment intentions that are directed to solve the vital important objectives for the district. They applied with a series of projects focused on the investment of living conditions of the population. These works require the supply with drinking water of over 25 localities from the Foot River area, the house building program for teachers, doctors and policemen from the villages of the district the restoration of anti-hail protection system, etc. The fruitful cooperation with the United Nations for Development Program, with the Social Investment Fund from Moldova, with the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, and the Coordination Bureau for the Technical Cooperation of the Austria's Embassy in Moldova, with the Technical Cooperation Bureau of uh, Germany, uh, with their embassies of Romania, Poland, and the United States, with the active participation in the neighborhood Romania, the Ukraine, uh, the Republic of Moldova and Romania, the Republic of Moldova contest programs will permit to direct the investment efforts for the solution of the most agent problems of the population from the district of Hinchest. The number of hotels, restaurants and entertainment places in the district is growing. Practically all the banks from the Republic of Moldova are represented in the district through their subsidiaries. All these realities, accompanied by the close distance to the capital of the country and other opportunities, allows to initiate the most varied projects in the district with economic, construction, infrastructure and social orientation. Due to its geographical position and socio-economic special features, the district of Hinchest has more attractive possibilities for investment activities. The investors can be encouraged and insured legally by the fact that the Republic of Moldova has signed different international agreements. The national legislation provides them with the necessary rights and the local authorities have an open and cooperative attitude. So, welcome to Hinchest. If you invest in Hinchest, you will invest in the future.